You can't write code. You're not an engineer. You're not a designer. You can't put a hammer to a nail. I built the circuit board. The graphical interface was stolen from Xerox Park. Jeff Raskin was the leader of the Mac team before you threw him off his own project. Everything, someone else designed the box. So how come 10 times in a day, I read Steve Jobs as a genius? What do you do? I play the orchestra. And you're a good musician. You sit right there. You're the best in your role. I came here to clear the air. Do you know why I came Didn't here? Can you just answer that? I came here because you're going to get killed. Your computer's going to fail. You had a college and university advisory board telling you they need a powerful workstation for two to three thousand. You price next at sixty-five hundred, and that doesn't include the optional three thousand dollar hard drive, which people will discover isn't optional because the optical disc is too weak to do anything and the $2,500 laser printer brings the total to $12,000 and in the entire world you are the only person who cares that it's housed in a perfect cube. You're gonna get killed and I came here to stand next to you while that happens because that's what friends do. That's what men do. I don't need your pass. We go back so don't talk to me like I'm other people. I'm the only one that knows that this guy here is someone you invented. I'm standing by you because that perfect cube that does nothing is about to be the single biggest failure in the history of personal computing. Tell me something else I don't know. <laughs>